He's a little duck hunting man. Y'all better watch out because he's gonna get all them little ducks. Yep, and my computer. What's up guys, welcome back to another one, and today it's all about wind socks. I've had a ton of you guys ask, hey Bobby, what type of wind socks are you using this year? What, what's the deal with you and Dive Bomb? A lot of you have seen that I've partnered up with Dive Bomb, and it's for very, very good reason. Dive Bomb Industries has partnered up with the channel and just loves what we're doing here. They're like, hey man, we love what you're doing, we want to support you, here's some decoys. And I was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So today, we're gonna go over their socks and I'm gonna describe to you why these socks are changing the game and why the technology in these socks just provides so much to you guys. When you buy these socks and you compare them to other brands of socks, you're just like, wow, this is literally a night and day difference. Especially when you use them in the field consistently and constantly, you begin to see the difference. And and the quality difference in these socks and why they did what they did in building these. Everything from the stakes to the collapsible feature. It's all technology. And let me tell you what, they knocked it out of the ballpark with these things. But real quick, the Olive Ducks hats, check them out. They are in stock. Go pick one up. They're back in stock today. I, I begged them. I was like, guys, we got to bring these back. We had these on a 48-hour sale not too long ago, but they are back, and they are on the website. I'll put the link down below in the description and in the comments. Go click it. Go pick you up one. But we're going to be headed out to the trailer. We're going to go out there. I'm going to show you what these socks are all about. We're going to compare them to some other brands, and I'm going to show you guys. Seriously, I'm going to show you guys the difference, the quality difference in these socks. You guys are going to enjoy this. All right, guys, we're back here at the trailer. I hope you guys can see me okay. hope this lighting's all right. But here is the trickaroo, the main trick to these socks. Look at this. So here's the sock. It folds up. So here's the stake. Usually a sock goes boom, and this is how you pack a sock usually. You put them in your totes, just like this one here. You put them in your totes, and uh, you got to fit them in like this, like an L shape. Well, with the dive bomb, the main technology, the, the best thing about these yet is this collapsible feature. You can hear it. It just snaps and clicks in and out of place. What this does is provides a lot of packing. You can pack a lot of these in one bag or one tote. As you guys know, I use uh, just plastic totes a bunch. They're cheap and I can replace them really cheap and they stack really good in the trailer. So that's what I love. As you can see here, why don't you guys come on here so you can see this. But this is the lovely thing about the collapsible feature on these dive bomb wind socks is that they collapse like this and you can stack a ton. I mean a ton in one tote or you know one bag, one decoy bag. It is crazy. I probably have, oh, I'd guess probably 10 to 15 dozen just in that one tote right there. So, all right, guys, I'm really trying to keep you out of the wind. It's extremely windy, which is good. We're going to test these socks in this wind. But here is another sock that I have. This is just, this is a different brand of sock, and it's a very simple design. It does not collapse. Uh, you got to pack them like this. Oh, ow. You got to pack them like this. And uh, let me tell you, it's hard to pack non-collapsible socks like this in totes. They just don't fit very well. My one thing I hate the most about these socks, so let's go ahead, let's go ahead and throw her in the ground like that. Oh, that's why, because the top pushes through. The whole stake moves in that head. That head and that stake are not bound together. So, what you gotta do is pull the stake back out. So we'll actually put it in the ground. So there it is. Look at her. Yep, there she is. That is that is the other brand, that's not the dive bomb. But this is what I hate the most. You go to pick up the decoy and it slides right off the stake. That's cool. What you can do with these bad boys is they're folded up, look at this. You just pop them right open. You just, boom, boom. You got them in your hand. Boom, there they are. And you walk around, 
they go in the ground extremely, extremely easy. You barely have to put them in the ground. They're, they work extremely great in frozen ground, very hard ground, because that steak, I'm getting ready to show you the steak, and that's, that is the cherry on top, is their steak. That steak is rigid for how small that steak is, so the diameter of that, the diameter of that steak gives that decoy, look at her, she's just bee bopping. Looking beautiful, look at that. I only have that steak in the ground, probably two inches, not very far at all. And like I said, we have a lot of wind today. But that steak right there, they have a very rigid, rigid steak. And as you can see, man, it just holds up in a lot of wind. Look at that. I'm gonna go push that steak in the ground just a little more to see what our action does. So we're gonna push it in the ground just a hair more there. And stiffen her up. Now let's see what she does. So we push it in the ground just a little more to stiffen it up. And that's what you can do with these. They have extra long, very rigid stakes on them. So they go in the ground extremely easy because those are very, very thin stakes. And what it does is gives a lot of bounce to that decoy. So today we have a bunch of wind. That's why I just pushed it in the ground. Uh, I pushed it in the ground probably, I don't know, a total of four to five inches now and you can see how it really stopped that decoy from dancing as much so that's what you can do if it's a very windy day you can push them down a little farther and uh, yeah they just work absolutely just I love these dive bombs. I absolutely love these dive bombs the heads look real the action looks real they are just the best the best windsock that I've ever used by far oh. Holy smokes, it is extremely windy, so I decided we probably need to come inside, get some better lighting, and some better sound quality. But I want to show you a couple things, and one being the steak. Look how long that steak is. Look how thin those bad boys are. Thin, thin, thin. I do have some other decoys that take a wire steak like this, but let me tell you what. They are, I mean, they are stiff. For how, for how small that diameter is of that steak, that steak is so small. They serve well in frozen, cold, cold temperatures when that ground's extremely hard and you can't get full body steaks in to save your life because believe me, full body steaks are one of the hardest steaks to get in the ground. Let me take that back. The hardest steak to get in the ground when the ground is froze. Dive Bomb has eliminated that issue. They went to a very stiff steak but very, very thin. So, the features in this decoy, why I say, and the, the, the thumbnail of this video, the title of this video, why I say that this is the best windsock, because of the technology in this thing. It gives you just, the features of this decoy, Dive Bomb, really, Dive Bomb just really hit it out of the park, and just, it's a home run. They put a lot of time and thought into this windsock, guys. This isn't something, that they just created overnight. This is something in the industry where a company examines a product and products and they go, what do we need? What, what do hunters want? What are they having issues with? What are the faults? What are the positives of our decoy? What can we make better? And that's what Dive Bomb did. Boom, you just bunch them up and they pack tight. That's one feature that I love the most is that I love using plastic totes because in my trailer, they stack well. Bags tend to fall over, totes kind of stack well. And actually, the new Dive Bomb bags are more of a square box style. I don't have one, but they are sweet. Be sure to check those out as well as these decoys. I'll link them in the description. Go check the decoys out. But guys, these are actually their S3 wind socks, and the S3 it just features the head. The S2... Uh, windsock from Dive Bomb comes without the head. So the S2, I think there's about a $20 difference in per dozen with the head and without the head. So the S3s have the head, the S2s do not. And honestly, it's just so awesome, you know, hooking up with Dive Bomb. I've been talking to them a bunch and they're really great people. They love what we're doing here on the channel. And if you're subscribed and you've been part of the channel for long enough, you know that I've worked darn hard to get where I'm at. So this is a very proud moment, me introducing a decoy partnership. You know, it's just, it's really awesome. And I'm very proud to say thank you. Yes, I am partnered with Dive Bomb, but 
One thing about me, guys, I will never misguide you guys. I'm not going to tell you to go buy a product even though it's trash just because they gave it to me for free. I'm not that guy. What I do promise to do is to give you guys quality products. I will not represent a product that sucks. You're not going to see me do that. So if you guys have been looking to replace some old socks or buy some new or just get into snow goose hunting or using white socks in general, you don't have to snow goose hunt and use socks only. I mean, I use socks to kill ducks with. When ducks are open, sometimes we'll sit a white spread and duck hunt out of it. Ducks love white spreads. I will put the link down below in the description. Go check Dive Bomb out. Give them a shot. I guarantee you, you will be satisfied. If you guys have a suggestion, a suggestion for a Foul Friday. We're ramping up Foul Fridays again. It's going to be the off season. So that's what we're doing today. We're starting Foul Friday strong and we're getting back into them, guys. So whatever Foul Fridays, how-to videos, tips that you guys want me to do for you, drop down below. Do it. Let me know. That's how I get great ideas is from you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see. And again, if you like the new Olive Ducks hats, go check them out. I will put them in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the Foul Fridays and the how-to videos. Again, you're letting me know what you guys want to see. But thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace. <clears throat>